The movie opens with a monologue from Thomas Lasky, an army cadet for the United Nations Space Command. We then meet few of the other cadets. Everyone knows they will have to kill the enemy when the time comes, but we hear that Thomas is not sure he can do it. The movie continues few months later, and the Hostati squad is released out of a cryopod for an exercise. The squad is fighting another team on a simulated war environment. Walter takes the lead and orders his squad to attack from the front, but Thomas argues they should flank them and force them to surrender. Walter refuses to listen to Thomas's idea and orders his team to follow his plan. But Thomas ignores his orders and runs to the field on his own which doesn't go well as he gets shot by the enemy team immediately and the squad loses another exercise. April the squad leader yells at them for not being coordinated and for losing again. Captain Black then comes over to and scolds the team for their horrible performance throughout the training program. He tells them if they don't improve soon, they will all be rejected from the force. Everyone is mad at Thomas for screwing the last exercise, and he tries to defend himself by saying the command was stupid, but they all tell him to just follow the orders. Thomas even gets into an argument with his closest friend Chyler, as he believes the war in general doesn't make sense and tells her the insurrectionists are just overtaxed farmers, but she tells him they are terrorists that killed a lot of innocent people. Thomas is then called into Colonel Murphy's office for disobeying orders. She tells him she doesn't want him to be disqualified from the force because she sees how good of a soldier he can become, and she reminds him that his mother is expecting him to become a highly decorated soldier just as his brother. Later that night we find Thomas watching a recording of his brother in his room. His brother used to leave him recordings every day he was at the field and updated him about the war. They also played chess every day which Thomas won every time, showing us how good of a strategist he is. As Thomas goes to bed he knocks on his wall and waits for Chyler who is in the next room to knock back. This is a way for them to say goodbye to each other, and even though they ended the day with a fight, Chyler also knocks back, putting a smile on Thomas's face. The next day, we see Michael unlocking a top-secret military recording. Dima watches him and warns him to nod at the recordings as it will definitely get him disqualified, but Michael is very into it, and he continues to recover the classified files. Thomas continues to watch his brother's recordings, but he is interrupted by Chyler, and they make up but they still argue on the need for war against the insurrectionists. In the middle of the night, a drill alarm wakes up Thomas and the squad. This means they need to be geared and ready very fast. April waits for them at their station, but they take a longer time because Walter and Thomas held up everyone because they were arguing over who unlocks the door. This makes them late enough for one of them to not be fully geared and they fail another test again. Captain Black then comes in and informs them that tomorrow they will be having a final test, which they will have to pass otherwise they will be disqualified from the academy. Michael continues to work on recovering the classified videos. He starts discovering weird things in the video but he still hasn't can't fully see what is happening. Dima warns him again but he makes her promise to not tell her mom who is a high ranking colonel in the army. The next morning, we see everyone sat at the breakfast table. April is mad at Walter and Thomas for their behavior last night so she orders them to give her their food. They comply and give her their food but as they walk back, Walter taunts Thomas by bringing up his brother's death which makes Thomas very angry and he takes him to the ground and punches him. The two get into a fist fight until it is stopped by Colonel Matafee and she calls Thomas in for starting the fight. Thomas thinks he is going to get punished, but Matafi was actually impressed with him and tells him he needs to unlock his inner strength. She then dismisses him with no punishment. Later the squad learns about the Second Punic War. They are taught that even though the Roman Republic had 10,000 more soldiers than Hannibal's, he used their pride and hubris against then and won the war by sacrificing his front army and using them as a distraction while he flanked from the back and decimate the Roman army. The Romans underestimated him and walked right into a trap, which is a lesson for the squad to never underestimate their enemy and what they will sacrifice to win. After the class, Thomas and Chyler talk about what they learned. Thomas is clearly not impressed with the lesson, but Chyler advises him if he really wants people to change and to stop the war, then he should become a leader that people listen to. The next morning, the squad meet up for their final test of the term. April gives the motivation, and before she sends them to the arena, Thomas asks her to be the squad leader this time. She pauses for a moment, but then gives him the command and tells him he better lead his team to victory. The exercise is capturing the flag. Thomas's team gather at their flag and wait for his command. Thomas then sees the way the other team is gathering and orders his team to just sit. A few minutes pass by and everyone is bored to just sit on one spot and not engage. Thomas' plan is working though as he sees the other team moving into their position. He then orders his team to take of their helmet which is what they use to track the other team. 
Everyone is confused by his order, but they follow it. The other team then move into their area of following their tracker, but when they get there, they only find helmets, and Thomas's team ambushes them from behind and takes out all of them. Thomas then goes to grab the enemy's flag, but he falls unconscious before getting there. He wakes up in the medical center, and the doctor tells him Thomas has been having an allergic reaction to the cryo injection. He then tells him to rest until he finds out how much of a problem his allergy is. Thomas sleeps for the rest of the day and wakes up while watching his brother's recordings. She asks him why he torments himself by watching these old videos. She then tells him his team won for the first time because of his leadership and ideas. They then get a voice call from Michael who tells them to come to his room immediately. All the squad gathers in his room, and he finally shows them the recovered classified videos. In the video they see the Marines and the Insurrectionist helping each other and running from something else. This is confusing to everyone as the two groups should hate each other. They then see all of them running and they see a reflection of the thing from the Elite Force's helmet. But the image is not clear enough to see what exactly it is they are running from. Before they can continue digging, they all call to the cafeteria for dinner. And while everyone guesses what the enemy might be, Thomas is called into Colonel's Metaphy's office. She tells him his medical results have came back and it shows that Thomas's allergy to the cryo injection is high enough for a medical discharge. She then gives him the release form and tells him it is his choice to decide whether he wants to stay or leave. She tells him if he decides to leave, he will be discharged tomorrow and encourages him to remember what he is willing to sacrifice. Thomas comes back to his room unsure of what to do. He watches the recording of his mother telling him his brother's death. He is then interrupted by Michael who tells him he needs to show him something important. Michael has cleared the image on the helmet's reflection but as he tries to zoom in the image, the computer deletes the image fully. Michael freaks out thinking he has been found out by the authorities and he runs away searching for Dima to ask her if she actually told her mother about his illegal activities. Thomas goes outside for a walk and finds Chyler sitting on a container. He tells her about his allergy. She asks him if he is leaving but he tells her he hasn't decided yet. She then tells him she is going to miss him which is followed by a silence and then they kiss each other. Suddenly a compound wide siren takes their attention. As everyone is called to immediately come back to the building, everyone is then told to get into the tether for an emergency evacuation. The squad gather and they all don't know what is happening. They then see the elite forces coming down from the sky, and they figure out an attack is coming. We see everyone in the building in panic. April tries to calm down her squad and wait in line for the chance to get to the tether. But Dima gets scared and suing her mother's authority, she manages to get into the priority elevator to get into the tether. The others wait their turn, but before they could get into the elevator, the tether is destroyed by a missile killing everyone in it, including Dima. The tether then start falling on the building, but the squad manages to make it out alive just in time. They run into the lover levels, and through the window they see the attackers or aliens. The aliens kill everyone in their way as they march into the building, while the outmatched marines try to stop them. The squad go to the armory to grab a weapon, but it is locked and they can't manage to break it. The aliens are getting close, and Thomas sees them going invincible, making them even more dangerous. They then all run to go to the basement, but on the way, Jinji gets killed by an invisible alien. The rest manage to make into the basement, but the aliens follow them there. Everyone stays quiet to not alert the alien, but the alien moves closer and closer to them. Walter then decides to distract himself and tells the squad to run, but he gets killed immediately before they could run. The alien then see them and moves in to kill them, but it is stabbed and killed by an elite soldier called Chief. Chief reveals to them they are the only survivors left on Earth, and that they have 15 minutes to go to the Pelican so they can leave Earth. He then breaks the armory lock easily and arms them. They then follow him through the compound as they see all the dead bodies on the ground. The aliens see them as they go out the building and start shooting, even hitting Michael on the leg. Chief then tells the squad to get into an armored car as he holds off the aliens. Thomas then rides an armored car as the others shoot back at the aliens. They have now four minutes to get into the Pelican, but they are shoot from everyone as they drive through the wood. Chyler and the Chief does manage to take out most of the aliens with their superior aim, but when they taught, they were safe. An alien jump in front of their car and crashes it. With the car no longer working, Chief tells the squad to go to the extraction point as he holds off the aliens. He then puts his last bandage on Michael's leg stopping his bleeding, but Chyler then reveals she has been shot on the gut. Chief tells them to get to the Pelican now and orders them to not stop running until they get there. The squad then start running to the Pelican, but Chyler's condition was too much for her to continue, and they stop in the middle. They lie her in the ground and try and give her painkillers, but she takes off her tag and gives it to Thomas. She then tells him she is sorry and takes her last breath. 
Chief joins them shortly after and tells them another one is coming. They then start running to the pelican but they get cut off by a giant alien. Thomas then tells Chief he will be a decoy and runs to another direction. The alien then starts shooting at Thomas, but as it is distracted Chief jumps on his back and detonates a bomb killing the alien. Thomas has luckily survived, and they all manage to make it to the pelican, they get picked up by elite soldiers, and they see the destroyed and burning earth as they leave it. Chief commends Thomas's bravery and gives him a black rock he took from the remains of the giant alien. The move then cuts decades after and we see an older Thomas still holding Shiloh's tag with the black rock. He then gets into a cryopod as humanity's last hope get ready for a war. The end.